Let's face it, cars are pretty gross. Either those Ubers and Lyfts you hop in and out of with the rest of humanity, or taxis that have been always doing the same, or even your filthy car. But technology is arriving to make things a little less disgusting. Let's take a look. What you want to do is get a clean environment in your vehicle, and that typically comes down to what's in the air. I think most of us know not to touch the seats of a shared car and then go wipe our eyes or nose. That should go without saying. But how do you deal with stuff you can't even see or touch? Take a look at what JVC is doing. They have got a new air purifier that kind of looks like an Amazon Echo, this column-shaped thing. You stick it in your cup holder, it runs off the 12-volt outlet in your car, and what it does is run a HEPA filtration process and an ionization for scent reduction on the air that it passes through it. It's not unlike things you might have at home, and there are a bunch of these on the market, but not all of them are brand name, to be honest. This guy moves a little under eight cubic meters of air per hour. To give you a comparison, the inside of a RAV4 is about four cubic meters, maybe a little less. So this should refresh the air in an average compact crossover twice an hour. And so it's not blowing a gale, but it is definitely moving things through a cleaning process. Should be on the market later this year, about 90 bucks. And like I say, there are many of these out there, but this one's a name you know. Now, by the way, you can get this technology built in from the factory. Some cars, not all, offer it typically as an option. I think the first time I saw it was back in 07 on an early Toyota Camry hybrid that had Sharp's plasma cluster technology built in that cleans and ionizes air, and it's all built into the HVAC system. No thing to stick in your cup holder. Want really serious air filtration? Then you need to get a Tesla Model S or X. The only cars I know of that promise you can literally survive a military-grade bio-attack by sitting in their car if you've activated their bio-weapon defense mode. You just press the bio-weapon defense mode button. <laughs> this is a real button. <laughs> Tesla does nothing in half measures. Now let's talk about vents and how we deal with those. Things can get trapped in there, deep in the bowels of your car's ventilation system. Air comes in from outside that could be filthy. You cough and sneeze, that stuff may lodge inside the vents. And then it sits in the warm afternoon sun, parked where things percolate in a nice warm, closed environment. Gah. So look at what Jag Land Rover is doing. They are in development on an internal ultraviolet C technology that will zap and clean everything that passes through the vent system before it comes out into the cabin, into your face. You wouldn't see this, it would be buried in the car. Yan Fang, a major automotive interiors maker for the car industry, is looking at something similar, kind of a module that would mount up in the ceiling on the headliner of a car. And similarly, cycle air through it, UVC zap it, and then cycle it back out nice and clean. You can also see on the front, they also envision adding a bunch of scent profiles from wood to citrus. I'll pass on those, but it's proof that the market still loves anything that'll cover the smell of pot. Now know this UVC tech is serious stuff. It's the same tech that is used in hospitals, many cases, even to combat multi-drug resistant superbugs. So we're talking about real top line technology. On the other hand, don't go out and buy a UVC light and start using it on yourself or mounting it in your car. UVC kills bugs, UVC also causes cancer. So you wanna make sure you're using it in a closed environment where it's processing air, not processing people. However, recent research at Columbia University Medical Center found a variant of UVC light that is of narrow bandwidth and at the far end of the UV spectrum can kill viruses but not cause human cancer or cataracts. Maybe that signature blue becomes part of the future of automotive interior lighting one day. So what's one to do whilst waiting for these in-car disinfecting technologies to take hold? Here's one example. Maybe you're not as extreme as I am. So then take a look at some of the sprays you can use in your car. Disinfecting sprays, I know they sound a bit like a lot of hooey, but they tend to sort of fog the interior to really get into nooks and crannies, not just spray in the air. And they also indicate, as you'll notice, to really get them into the vents. There's that vent hot spot again. A lot of these sprays say they'll kill everything from coronavirus to norovirus. So hell, they might save the cruise industry. Another thing to look for is in your local area, detail services that are really all about being sanitization or sterilization services. This is kind of a new outcropping in the detail biz lately, and they really go after getting things sanitary. They're a little more focused on the grime than the shine. 